What's up everybody, Tony here with High Tech Check, and today we're going to be taking a look at the AutoCast wireless CarPlay adapter for iPhone. Now if you guys have CarPlay in your car right now, you know that you have to hook up a cable to your phone and to a USB in your car to be able to use wired CarPlay. Now it can be kind of an annoyance because you got to pull out your phone from your pocket, you have to plug it in, then you have to find a place to put your phone while it's connected. This takes care of all of that. All you need to do is plug in the AutoCast into that USB into your car and your phone automatically will connect to this once you get in your car and turn the car on. So you don't have to worry about taking your phone out of your pocket. You just use everything right from your car's screen. Super easy. I'm very ex excited to show this to you guys. And if you guys want to pick this up, I will be putting a link in the description. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use that link because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So we're going to go ahead and hook this up in the car and I'm going to show you how everything works. And then I'll let you know my thoughts after I've been using it for a while. But first, let's go ahead and see what you get inside the box. So it comes in this box right here, and then here is the AutoCast itself. It's made of all plastic, it's very light. It's got a USB Type-A on the bottom and the USB Type-C on the top that will plug into your USB in your car. And it comes with a USB Type-C to USB Type-A adapter for your car, and it also comes with a USB Type-A female adapter to USB Type-C for the other end just in case. And then here is your user manual. Now one thing you will have to keep in mind is if your car doesn't have CarPlay capability, this is not going to give it that ability. You already have to have uh, CarPlay available in your car to use to use this wireless adapter. And it also works off the 5 GHz Wi-Fi signal that your phone has to eliminate any lag that there might be. It's super simple to set up and use. It takes max about 5 minutes to set up. So let's go ahead and get it set up in the car and we'll see how it works. Okay, so before we begin, I just wanted to show you that I do have my AutoCast plugged in to where I would normally plug in my iPhone for the CarPlay, and that just kind of sits right down here. I don't have my car on right now, so the AutoPlay is not connecting up to my phone, but I did go ahead and hook up the CarPlay wireless adapter to my iPhone already, so I just wanted to show you how fast uh, everything connects up once I turn the car on. So we'll go, do, go ahead and do that right now. Okay, car is on. Notice that I don't have any cables hooked up. And the CarPlay adapter does recognize the last phone uh, that it was connected to automatically, which is my iPhone. And if we, there you go. So <laughs> probably maybe 45 seconds, a minute, uh, for it to totally connect. And I didn't do anything. I thought I might have had to unlock my iPhone, but I didn't. Uh, everything's automatically connected, and it did start the CarPlay automatically. So as you can see, all the options that we do have on here, we have Google Maps, uh, we have Apple Maps, our calendar, uh, phone messages, all that cool stuff. So now I'm going to go ahead and test out some of the GPS features. I want to see if there's any lag or anything like that. I'll go into our settings real quick. As you can see, you can change the different things on here. We have our wallpapers. Show album art. Yeah, so all the normal CarPlay things. So like I said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and test out the GPS and we'll see if there's any lag, any issues, and we'll go from there. So just for some comparison, I kind of want to see if there's any lag uh, when the phone is connected directly to my car versus the wireless adapter here. So I'll go ahead and plug that in. I'll connect it wired to my phone. It is unlocked, so CarPlay should be starting. Click continue. Okay, there you go. So when we're swiping through there is a noticeable slight lag uh, when swiping through the menus. Open our message, they open pretty quickly. Go to our settings, again. The only kind of lag I really see is when I'm scrolling through the applications. So now I'm going to connect the adapter and then we'll see if there is any more or less lag. Okay, so 
So I'm going to put my phone up here. It is locked. We'll go ahead and plug that in. All right, it is plugged in. We'll see how long that takes. Again, it should be pretty quick. There goes CarPlay. It's searching for my phone. And there you go. So again, it was it was pretty quick, about maybe 35, 45 seconds for it to totally boot up and then find your phone. So we'll swipe through. Again, there might be a very, very small noticeable difference between the lag. It may be just a slight bit more than it is wired, but it's not a deal breaker at all. We'll go ahead and open up our messages. Opens up really quickly. Our settings. Again, just a very, very slight noticeable uh, lag versus the wired. Go into our podcast. Again, there they are. Yes. And it starts... It starts right up. So... It seems to be working really great uh, versus the wired. And to have that convenience of the wireless is just, uh, if, to me, it's invaluable. Now, I don't currently have it on, but if you have on Hey Siri, you can automatically use Siri without even having to touch your phone. But I don't have that option turned on, so I have to physically hold in the power button to activate Siri. So we'll go ahead and do that. Navigate to nearest McDonald's. The nearest one I see is McDonald's on Meridian Road in Peyton. Let me know if I should call one of them or get directions for you. Starting route to McDonald's. So now like I said before, you don't have to take your phone out of your pocket, but I am just to give this the best possible uh, outcome because the connection around here is not very good. I only have like two bars so I didn't want to leave it in my pocket and have a really bad connection. So we'll go ahead and open up the Google Maps. We'll see how that works out. Okay. Seems to be doing pretty good, not too bad. So let's go ahead and try out satellite mode and see how that works. This is usually a little bit more intensive on the phone. So we'll see how well it works with the adapter. So far it seems to be moving pretty good. Not too bad at all. It seems to be working just great. Now another thing, I know I told you that you can hold in the button on your phone uh, to activate Siri to have you navigate somewhere, but if you have a if you have a car that has a button that you can press to activate the voice assistant, you can use that too. Like my Chevy Colorado has a button, so I just hold it in. Where's the nearest gas station? The closest one I see is Phillips 66 on Issaquah Drive. Let me know if I should call one of them or get directions for you. Starting route to Phillips 66. And there you go, it's just that easy. So you don't have to have Hey Siri on, you don't have to even touch your phone. If your car has a button, you can easily utilize it that way. So let's try Apple Maps. We'll see what happens there. Go into Apple Maps.
it does seem to be working a lot better than Google Maps. There it is in 3D. And if you're curious to see what will happen with this connection when you put your car in reverse and you have a reverse cam, it'll go to my reverse cam here. We'll back up a little bit. And we'll go ahead and put it into park. And it brings you right back into the CarPlay. So that's pretty nice. Gemma said, where are you? Would you like to reply? Yes. What do you want to say? I'm home, just working on a review. Your reply to Jamma says, I'm home, just working on a review. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. So I've been using the AutoCast now for probably about five to six months, and it's been working great so far. I still use it uh, till this day. I use it every day that I go to work. You get in your car, you don't have to worry about taking your phone out, it kind of just connects up, and then you have everything you need on your screen. You have your uh, podcast app, you have your messages, you have your maps, anything you need, you don't have to fumble around with your phone. And if you think that you don't need this, try putting your phone in your pocket, sitting down in your car, and then trying to take your phone back out of your pocket to hook it up to the wires. Let me know in the comments how annoying that gets for you, because if it does, you definitely want to get this wireless CarPlay adapter. So again, I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick this up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products to do reviews for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so that you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.